Hello and welcome back to Modelling Misadventures. Now I've cleared the bench um, and it's time to bring out the next set of plans because we're going to start on the Super 60's wings. So I've got to pin this out, uh, put the fuselage to one side and I'm going to need a lot of these in order to make them. Now I was a bit disappointed that the kit was about five of these, four or five of these short and I've had to go out and buy some. But anyway, no worries, that happens. Let's get on with the build. Well there's the plans for the wings laid out and there is a very important instruction right in the middle of them. It says, read the instructions. Now the good thing about these plans is it shows both wings at once so I can make both of them at the same time the left and the right so I've started pinning out I love this bit well this is where we're up to with the wings after a couple of nights work they were fairly easy to put together typical construction lots of ribs and spars a um, bit of finishing to do at the end uh, of the wing tips, but uh, these are getting pretty close to being taken off the off the plan. Now I've never made one of these vintage balsa aeroplanes before, um, and it's got an interesting design of the trailing edge. So on the back of the wing, in other planes that I've built, it has a solid piece of balsa wood that's been cut into a triangular shape but on this one they're using two strips of uh, balsa sheet uh, on top and on the bottom of the rib to make this trailing edge so maybe that's quite normal on planes but I've not seen that before Right, it's time to get these off. Well, that is phase one of the wings complete and they look pretty good. Now, the, uh, the ends are gonna need some work. They're not meant to look like that. They're gonna need to be some cutting, sanding, filling in, whatever. But anyway, they're taking shape. And next I'm going to have to build a centerpiece to join them together. Now there's been a lot of discussion with this model about the dihedral. And all the airplane modelers will know what a dihedral is. But for those that don't, the wing on an airplane is not horizontal to the ground. It is tilted up at a certain angle and that is called the dihedral. And on this model, they give you these little braces that are gonna go uh, in the middle of the wing and you can see that they angle up at the edges. <clears throat> now the question is, how big should the dihedral be? And uh, if you look on old aero modeling videos and pictures you can see that they had really extreme dihedrals um, and that was because these were free flying models and they had to have inherent stability but for this model uh, they actually tell you what the dihedral should be and they say that over the length of this wing the end of the wing needs to be two inches higher than the middle and so in order to do that, uh, we're going to now glue the final rib on here at an angle so that the end of the wing is two inches off the ground. I'll show you how that's done. So the way they recommend to do the dihedral on this kit is to block up the end of the 
wing off the plan and I'm going to use these Lego bricks which I've measured and they are two inches high. So they're going to go under the end of the wing here and then we're going to pin the wing to the plan here so that it can't move. And then we're going to glue this uh, final rib on here. But instead of it being at an angle like all the other one, this one is going to be vertical. And that means when we connect it to the center part of the wing, um, it will give the necessary dihedral uh, on the outer wings. Right, that's set up very nicely. Got the, the end rib nice and vertical. And you can see the wing rising up towards the two inch block at the end. Well, I've finished these two wing panels and they've come out really lovely. So I'll just show you what they look like now they're finished. So we've added a leading edge and it's a really nice curved leading edge. You can see that, really lovely. And then there's these extra parts being stuck on the spars here, on the back of the front spar, and on the front of the rear spar, that's strengthened the whole wing. At the end here, we've put these little gussets on just to support that blast spar. And then this end wing tip has been sanded down to shape, ready to be covering. Now you'll notice on this wing that there's something missing. Uh, there's no aileron. And this is a three channel model. So it only has a rudder, elevator and throttle control. There's gonna be no aileron. And it's gonna rely on its own natural stability to keep it horizontal when it's flying. So those are the two wings done. And now it's time to move on to this little center section that we're gonna to use to join them both together. The wing plans are off, back to the main plan. Now over in the corner of this plan is the final little center section of the wing. There's four ribs, and some spars and then these dihedral braces and that's what we're gonna make last of all. Now I've got started on this center section and put these two little spars on here and then these are the wing braces and I've glued those on with epoxy. Now the next stage is to put these ribs on here and if you actually look the hole isn't big enough. So I'm just going to have to enlarge those. Look at that. Perfect fit. Now there's just three more of those. So this is the centre section coming along. And I'm going to take it off the plans now and start to get it ready for joining the two outer wing panels together. Right, I've got the center piece of the wing done. This is the little center section. It's got four ribs and these dihedral braces. The bottom's filled in. Uh, it'll have a top piece on as well once we connect the wings. And this now has to be connected to the main wing. 
uh, and those dihedral braces will slide in there and we'll glue it at the right angle. This is the first half ready to go on. I've pinned it down, set it up. It's actually gone on quite nicely. Got the other end propped up for the two inch dihedral. Now all I need to do is glue it together and then do the same for the other side. Now I've got my stall set out for this. I've got uh, two different types of glue, epoxy for the dihedral braces and wood glue for the ribs. I've got my little mixing plate ready. Got all my clamps ready to go on. I've done a test fit. I've got the wing separated just a bit so I can put the glue on. And then that means that when I put it all together, uh, it'll all get done before the glue starts to dry. There it is. Bit nerve wracking this bit. You gotta get it all perfectly aligned. And what you don't want is for all the glue to dry and it to be a complete cock up. But I think I've got the dihedral right and I've got it all clamped out. So fingers crossed. When we take all the clamps off, it'll all be perfectly set up. Well, here it is, the finished wing and it's all glued together nice big wing see the dihedrals come out very nicely center section looks very good the uh, spar and rib structure is very nice i really like this wing and that is now ready for covering so i've actually finished all the construction of the ben buckle model now and um the next phase is going to be covering the fuselage and tailplane and rudder and wing. So that's what we'll be doing in the next video. But until then, it's goodbye from me and I'll see you next time on Modelling Misadventures.